Hi there, and welcome back to the Amazing Collection Unboxing. This week we are on box number 74, a big box of Briar Clydesdale Stallions. This one will probably test me, so let's see what we got. First, we have a dapple gray Clydesdale Stallion. So there. This guy, the Clydesdale Stallion, was originally introduced in the late 1950s, like 58, 59, and he has been production ever since then, and they made a lot of them, and they made a lot of different special runs and regular runs. So, now, irregardless of who he is, this one is interesting, and it's going to make you run and look at all your Clydesdale Stallions. Most of them do not have their front bow painted. Most of them just it was carved into the sculpture to go with his bobs and his tail his bow on his tail but most of them do not have that painted i think there's only two that i can think of so that's going to give me a clue not much of one but a clue i think so he's dapple gray he's got red and white bobs with a red mane and tail i think these guys were special runs from like the 1980s because I remember that little sniplet about the bow coming out and everybody went oh my gosh it's only on one of them and I think this was a special one I don't remember what he was for because I don't think he was a Christmas catalog -y horse but I think he's a special run from the 80s so maybe one of the mail order companies something along those lines um, he is in very nice condition he's kind of got that 80s sort of lackadaisical paint job. Um, he's, he's fine. His face, in my opinion, could use a little nicer detailing, but that's just me looking at models nowadays. Um, his splattering only comes up to his shoulder, which is a hallmark. He does have rubs on his tail, but other than that, he's got all of his bubs, bob, bobs, boobs, and he's in very nice condition. So we'll go with that. Moving on. Hopefully I know this one. We have another Dapple Gray Clydesdale Stallion, but this guy is much easier. He is um, glossy gray dapple with gold bobs and a gold tail, which tells me he's one of the original glossy gray dapple Clydesdales. So in 19, late 1950s when they issued them, they issued them, I believe, in bay and dapple gray. and um, There's some mold variations. There's the no muscle and this guy is one of the muscled, glossy, Clydesdale stallions in dapple gray. He does not have his bow painted on. Um, he's in decent enough condition. He's a bit yellowed. He could use some time in the sun to whiten up. Um, I don't think he's rubbed. I think he's just faded, which is interesting. He's kind of a semi-gloss. And he has dapples all the way up his neck and onto his face, even onto his nose and his muzzle. So he is very, very dappled. Um, he might even be a little bit of a shrinky, maybe not. I don't know, there's just something about him that doesn't make me ecstatic. Maybe it's just the yellowing and the fading or something. Um, he's in good condition. He doesn't look like he has many rubs. But like I said, I've seen much crisper examples of this mold, but he's very old, so it's hard to find him in good condition still. And overall, he's, he's attractive, especially I love the dappling, it's even on the back of his ears. So he's cute um, and definitely different from his brother, the other dapple gray. Um, doesn't look like I have any other dapple grays, so let's get this guy. Um, we have a gray Clydesdale stallion. Um, he has very uh, much more intricate painting on his bobs, on his mane and tail, and his forehead. Um, these guys are going to prove me wrong, right? So he has blue along his mane, where the braid would be, and then white and red bobs, red, white, and blue on his tail, and red, white, and blue up here. He's a solid sort of a roany gray. He's gray base coat with a lot of really heavy freckle, dark gray dappling. He's got um, stripes on his hooves. He's got quite a lot of detail to him. 
I don't think he was a special run. I think he was a regular run sometime in the 90s. Um, but I couldn't tell you in particular. Most of those runs from the 90s only ran for a year or two or three at most. So he probably wasn't made for a long time. And he is in very nice condition. And it's a really attractive color on him, this, this gray shading and the very intricate mane um, and tail bobs. So he's a really cool guy. And I think I'm, he's just kind of a regular run from that 90s era. Ooh, nice if this is original. This looks like it is a wood grain Clydesdale stallion. No stickers, darn it. And and he looks he looks like he's a shrinky to me too. He's got kind of one shoulder kind of collapsed from the top. And this is an example of what we call the no muscle Clydesdale stallion. So the mold was retooled a couple times in the early days. The no muscle is the earlier version. And he is missing one bob. These bobs do tend to break off very easily, so it's fairly common to find them with these broken off. The wood grain was made for a lot of years. Um, so for uh, most of the 60s, I'm just gonna say, and he's in nice condition. He does have he does have a little bit of rubbing. For some reason on this side down here, he's got some rubs. So he must have been rubbing up against something at one point in his life. He his wood graining is nicely done. Not not exceptional, but nice. And like I said, he just has that kind of mold collapsing problem. It happens sometimes when they're exposed to high heat and they don't have a vent hole, um, they will tend to become a little shrinky and they'll start to, because the interior of these models are hollow, and they'll start to shrink in. He looks like he's a bit of a shrinky, so he was probably pretty early in the run. He's nice shape, he'd look good on a shelf. He's very old, there's not a lot of them. Um, it's kind of a privileged collector that says, oh, the wood grain Clydesdale stallion, that's so common. Um, but, but he's a nice shelf piece, but um, he could definitely be upgraded if you were a wood grain collector or a Clydesdale stallion collector. He'd be a nice shelf piece that you could have until you found something really nice and show quality. Next we have, I think this guy, I think he was another regular run from that 90s era. For some reason the name Highland Stallion comes to mind. No paint on his bow on his forehead. On his uh, forehead, he's got blue and white bobs and a blue tail. He's got pretty high markings and a nice big white paint job on his face, or not paint job on his face. He has um, a few little black marks here. Very nice um, example of kind of the run of the mill regular runs from that era. Just a nice, I don't think he came with a mare and foal. Sometimes they did, most of the times they didn't. Um, but he's just a nice example. But if you were a completist, he'd look good in your collection. But he doesn't really have that pop or that wow factor that some of these guys have. So I'm going to stick with that. I'm on a roll. And now we have somebody who's been harnessed. This is a uh, homemade harness by somebody. It's very thick. Um, it's a draft harness, but it's um, folk or play quality, definitely not show quality. The leather is very thick. Uh, the details aren't as nice as I'd like to see. This is a regular run Bay Clydesdale Stallion made for a very long time. Uh, with red and white bobs, which started in the 60s, ran through the 70s and 80s. Most collectors at some point had this guy in their collection. And it's a, it's a nice uh, harness for him. He's actually got the connectors back here that, come, that would attach to the wagon. Um, he only has, it looks like, one rein. But it's, it's a cute piece, and um, if you had a lot of Clydesdale stallions, as this collector did, it would probably be nice to have a few harnessed to pull the rigs that you probably inevitably have somewhere in another box that I'll come across someday. Right? Right. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say 80s regular run, white and gold bobs, gold on the tail, this kind of off color, late 80s, early 90s. There was a whole slew of them where they came out and you just kind of went, I don't know, he's kind of too yellow or too tan or too brown or something. And again, that kind of average paint job, he has a lot of overspray where the black on the mane and tail come. So um, probably produced for a couple of years, probably a regular run. And a completist definitely would want this piece but I don't think he's tremendously popular. Um, you just look at him and you just go, that color just isn't as, as attractive to him, and particularly with the dark on the face. It's just, it's a nice piece, but something that you might buy and hook one of your friend's kids on collecting Briar Model horses. Next, we have, oh, I think this was um, a tour model. I think he has a certificate I think I saw in there. This guy's name was Major. Really nice. This was when Briar was trying to start their uh, vintage aficionado uh, callback models. He was a 1998 tour special. He's from the Jamboree in Pomona, 1998. And he is a glossy charcoal. Really pretty, really attractive. The gloss is beautiful. He has gold bobs and a gold tail, and his main bob or his forehead bob is printed. Um, so they made only enough for that year for orders. So not a ton, but lots of orders probably came in. He also has eye whites. He was kind of the beginning of that throwback era that we're really kicking into high gear now with that touchability box and the Vintage Collectors Club. Um, so this was our first, one of our first nods, throwbacks to the old vintage collectors and the old glossy charcoals. And he is really pretty, really attractive. Last but not least, we have an unpainted Clydesdale Stallion. Now these guys, as I've talked about before, can be factory unpainted, factory escapees, or factory issued unpainted. One of the ways that you can tell is the evenness of the quality of the plastic, because removing the paint, this paint is industrial grade and it's almost impossible to remove. When you do remove it, you will leave imperfections in the plastic. It's also very hard to get out of the cracks, nooks and crannies of the piece. So he is uniformly white. He has not been touched by paint. So he is from the factory this way. Now he has a lot of extra. His, his top line has not been cleaned. His flash has not been removed. Um, he definitely has a lot of plastic sticking up where the two pieces of the mold came together. So he could be a factory escapee. Now the other thing, because like the regular runs, not regular runs, but the special runs of the unpainted, I think they finished the seams on them. But he could be, they had a tricked out pony contest at a couple of jamborees where contestants would get an unpainted briar model to paint or customize, and then they were judged. And I think this was one of those um, I can't remember which others there were, but I seem to remember the Clydesdale Stallion was one of them. So he is either a factory escapee or something that was provided to contestants of that tricked out pony contest to use as a base to create some sort of art or sculpture. So those are the two options that he could be. Um, and I'd have to do a little research to figure out which one he is. So. We had a wide variety from some of the earliest, from the glossies to the wood grains, all the way up through some of the more moderns and throwbacks. Quite a few, I'm sure I probably made a few mistakes because these aren't my area of expertise in collecting. But I hope you enjoyed, and if I made a mistake, let me know in the comments. Join me next week, and we'll see what I find in the next box. Thank you.